My name's Patrick Burke. I don't think you really get to choose your passion, it chooses you. When I moved to Auckland, I, you know, I'd finish work early just to go up to the coast. Or I was surfing, and so I decided I want to be in the ocean, and just from there it just snowballed. My name is Claire, and at Auckland Scuba I run the recreational courses. The most amazing thing about diving, and probably the emotion that I feel the most, is just overwhelming beauty and just you feel so small and so privileged to be in such an incredible space that's not really ours but we still get to enjoy it. Once you're in there it's just you keeping your breathing nice and slow, taking it super easy and just observing. You don't need to touch anything, you can just look. For open water students I enjoy them getting that, those first breaths in the sea and seeing how amazing it is down there. Seeing them experience it for the first time, and then you come out with your students and they are buzzing and they absolutely love it and they've just had the time of their life doing something they've never done before or seeing something they've never seen. Saw the size of the snapper as well, which is really abundant in a marine reserve, which is really cool. Um, you would have noticed even yesterday's dive that there was no fish that size. My Dipsy course was a really amazing experience. Um, literally just lived and breathed diving for a whole year. Met the most amazing people that I'm still connected with now. So you're definitely going to learn a lot and there is quite a bit of theory involved but it's going to teach you so much more about diving than you ever realised and about the theory of it and about physiology and the environment, um, weather and the patterns of the world, pretty much of the oceans. Um, and that was also really interesting. Um, it was definitely one of the best things I could have done, I think. Now I've started to see the assistant instructor portion. You see them kind of a bit worried when they're first starting and then within a couple of tries at doing the open water presentations or the confined water presentations or the classroom presentations, they're coming out of their shell. Their voice isn't shaking anymore they find the same passion that I was finding around that point. What makes me happiest is when I feel like they're better than I was at that point. Going out with Auckland Scuba to any of the destinations like the Four Nights or the Old Women's White Island really is a spectacular way to do it. Um, going out on a purpose-built boat and everything, it makes it much more comfortable and enjoyable. Diving in New Zealand is so rugged and raw. It's ours and it's unique and it's, you can't see it anywhere else. The poor nights are amazing, diveable in most conditions. And there's so many different kinds of topography to look at. There's caves, there's swim throughs, there's kelp forests and Blue Mau Mau Arch. One of the best dive sites most people have done. The Aldermans, as well, they share the same current as the poor nights. The honeycomb caves are absolutely amazing. An absolute photographer's dream, I could imagine, with the light playing through and the, the amount of fish and things. It's, it's really spectacular. Something that's really special, I think, for me, about diving wrecks around New Zealand, they have just flourished into amazing reefs. And then, of course, I, I do love going inside and exploring and just what has become of something that was probably quite great when it was on, on the surface and now it's something even greater underwater. Sometimes you see huge kingfish and snapper just hanging out there, like almost like their residence. The jewel anemones, uh, the sea life that come around to otherwise fairly barren areas. We can do all the specialties essentially, deep, wreck, nav, boat. We do lots of peak performance buoyancy. We do um, buoyancy clinics. They're not, we've got a, a, a clinic coming up for finning, so I'll be teaching people how to back fin and frog kick and be efficient with their legs. We can teach anything. I've learned so much about the ocean since becoming an instructor, and it's actually completely changed mm, my standing as well. We go to some places and we're constantly picking up rubbish, even a month or two, gaps. You know. The more people starting diving will also make it feel like it's theirs.
so they'll probably start to want to look after it a bit more too. For us to protect the Haraki Gulf, I think there just needs to be a lot more education on the importance of it, the beauty of it, and also letting people experience it. Because people who aren't into diving or fishing or out on the water don't understand the value and the benefit of actually having something like that on our doorstep. If you're considering learning to dive or learning to become an instructor, I would definitely say do it and you'll never regret it. The things that you'll experience and the people you'll meet, and it's, it'll change your life. Or you can just show off that you are out there in the sun having fun.